welcome to my channel it's Danelle so I thought I would do something new and that is since I bought all of those Mo you London stamping plates that I would start a series and just go alphabetically through them and do a quick little stamping manicure using every plates. So the first one in my collection is called Animal and it is these cute animals. So I thought I would give this a go. I have some tips right here already painted with white gel paint and cured. Like usual, I don't have a plan. I'm winging it. Let's see what I'm gonna do. I don't know. I thought about doing some of the fish. Let's see, so we have this fish, this one. We have this little grouping of fish and this grouping of fish. So I might do that. And I was thinking about using some of my shimmers. Let me get, let me grab them. So let's see. Some of them are kind of small and this is a big nail tip. That thing is massive. So one of those full images won't fit too good. I might do some of the fish on it though. It's like a little scene. But let's see. Let's just get started. So I'm going to use this queen set that I got. Um, there, are, there are all these like shimmery different metallics and they're beautiful. So I'm gonna start with 610, which is this gorgeous purple shimmer. There's a couple of different shades of it. So I got a new desk. I sold my previous nail desk because it was just too high for me. I'm I'm a shorty. And uh, I got a new nail desk. And I was putting it together yesterday by myself. And I hurt my nails. Like, I, like the big panel like slipped and like did like that to my nails and really grabbed them and caused a little bit of um, lifting and stuff. And a couple of them hurt really bad. So I wanted to get all the builder gel overlay off to really give them a once over, make sure everything was okay under there. And um, this one in particular, like really lifted up uh, and it, it didn't damage my nail bed a little bit, which is disappointing. Um, but it happens, you know, um, unfortunately. So I, anyway, I took off all my builder gel. Not this one. This one had <laughs> broke from a different issue. And so I had to take the builder gel off of there and then I like... My nail isn't damaged though, but I had just put some clear builder gel over it just to protect it until I was gonna redo all of them, but then this happened, so I didn't need to. So for these, as you can see, I just cleaned them up and then I did, um, I used Madame Glam's builder gel in builder light pink and I put that on. And then I painted them with the color I have on right now is Flamingo by Drunk Fairy Polish. It's so pretty. It's gorgeous. 
And while my nail length and shape doesn't match, I'm okay with that because if y'all watch my videos, I always say nothing ever matches. But my polish matches. Not only do both hands match, but so do my toes. My toes never fully match. <laughs> so I'm kind of excited about that, that my toes match. So I could have did um, extensions with um, some, it's still too big, let's do it on this one. I'm gonna have to double stamp. But I just didn't, I just didn't feel like it and I don't wanna take the chance of this one hurts really bad and this one's a little sore. I didn't want to take the chance of building them out and then have them get pulled up again. So that is why they are still short. And I'm going to leave them short for now. I actually think they look really cute. I need to be careful with the acetone so that I don't ruin my current this is just regular polish it's not gel and i didn't do a gel top coat so if i'm not careful i will get it right off i'm not in frame like usual it's a bad habit some little gold fishies So hopefully I, I complete this ser this series with my MoU plates. Um, you know, sometimes we start things with the best of intentions and then things get in the way down the line that we don't anticipate and we don't finish. Hopefully, hopefully I can finish this. I need to get a, a grabber because I'm gonna mess up my nail polish. It's the only bad thing of having regular nail, nail polish is um, that. If you have regular nail polish on whenever you, oh my goodness, look at that mess. That's beautiful though. But I will have to get that off and try not to touch my nails. I should have gel top coated them just to be safe, but I didn't. So that was 609 Hathaway Gold for those little fishies. And I'm going to do 608 Cool Aqua now. And I think I'm going to do this octopus. And I was going to put it on with the fishy, just to kind of give it a friend. I wish there was bubbles on this plate. There's no bubbles though. I'm going to use 613 Hot Fuchsia. These colors are so pigmented, and as you can see, they pick up beautifully, beautifully. They're so gorgeous. Aww. I'm going to use 606 Pink Ladies, and if you can't guess what I'm going to do with that, looking at the image right there. Hmm. I have an idea, but I don't know if it'll work or not. I don't know if I have a color light enough. I don't see one.
I'm gonna do So I was thinking about putting the, I'll have to double stamp, but what I'm gonna do is, if it works, I'm gonna do the really light pink of the flamingos. And then I'm going to go over it with the brighter pink. And this is clear jelly stampers. It's a pink. It's um it's just 162 is the number. And again, I have to double stamp that because these images are really small. And normally when you're double stamping, you want to really focus on lining those images back up together. I'm not. I'm not really worried if they line up. I thought I did a good job anyway. I think they look good. I need a sticky stamper station because I'm going to take this to the buttons. easier okay so I got that light pink and I'm hoping this works I'm gonna do the big flamingo in this bright pink 606 and I think I already said it's called pink ladies it's so pretty is that gonna be pink enough no, it's not bright enough to go against the other color. But wow, that's super cute. I might need to do it in this one. Let's see. I I used this color already for that one fish. Which is, I mean, it doesn't matter. Oh, that's not working. I'm going to end up scratching that plate with that. So I'm going to use 613 again for that one. Really good pickup. Oh yeah, that's going to show up a lot better. There's another one. Anyway, I had to find my cotton ball. So, going back to my, um, desk so I had to take my old desk had all these drawers they look similar to like the Ikea drawers but they're not Ikea um and I had to take everything out of there to sell it and then I got this new one put it together and I'm not quite reorganizing and putting stuff back together so I honestly I'm like so many things are misplaced right now it's crazy. All right, so now I'm going to use 603, which is Golden Delicious. Let's do the turtle. I was kind of going to... Uh, there's some uh, residue. 
I was going to do um, all fish, but as you can see, that has gone by the wayside. Give this a little friend, a little turtle friend. Can't really see him too good on the camera. I can see it pretty good in person, but it's still fairly light. And then let's see on this other one. I'm thinking maybe I will do one of these other fish, like the repeating fish. And I'm trying to see which color, maybe Mexicali turquoise or maybe ocean blue. Let's go with ocean blue. Oh, that's pretty. These, these, uh, this plate would be great for somebody with really small nails. I mean, look at that. It didn't even cover that tip end to end. And the, this size is not even a big one. The tip, I mean, the tip's not a very big. It's not a, it's probably like a size... I don't know. I mean, it's long, but it's not very wide. And that's like a ring finger or something. This polish is so beautifully thick and opaque that you need, you need so little of it. It's hard to tell sometimes with polishes because some polish I find you need a lot. And some polishes I find, oh boy, now I got that on my nail that I can't, okay, that worked. Look how pretty that blue is though. I did that, I lined that up pretty well, if I do say so myself. All right, now I'm gonna try to get some edges in there because I could just leave it like that but why would we do that when we don't have to That doesn't match down there, but I'm just trying to fill it in. I guess that's gonna be about it because there's not much else I can do with this plate. I, um, let me see. I'm sorry, I'm getting off track. I'm kind of jumping all over the place, but it, even with the acetone, it looks like it went through, but it did not. It hasn't even stained to my desk and I'm ruining my mani because I forgot I don't have one gel and I'm wiping away with that sponge. Ugh, super annoying that I did that. Oh well. Mm. 
I should have put gloves on or top coated it, but I don't know where the gloves are. I'm looking around. So let's see. This, the flamingo is super cute. Pretty, pretty. I'm just kind of looking. I might re-stamp the turtle. I don't really have a green, though. I mean, not that it has to be green. I did purple and pink fish and... But it feels like it kind of needs a little, oof, a little extra. Let's go with 612 Ruby Gem. Oh, that's pretty. That's a nice color. Not really that worried if it's lined up perfectly. You won't really be able to see the green underneath. Unless I hold it up real close. And that cleans my plate up pretty well as well. I meant to say my stamping card. Nope, I meant to say my scraping card. Woo! Someday words are hard. If I thought about it and if I had other plates handy, I would have done like maybe a wave or some bubbles, but I don't know where everything is. So this is just gonna have to do for now. And let's pop on a top coat real quick. These are kind of weird with just two images just stamped on without like a anything to back them up or whatever, but I can't promise I'll do better next time. Uh, I do what I do when I do it, and that's just how it is. And this shimmery blue kind of reminds me of um, the uh, Chinese porcelain. Is it Chinese or Japanese porcelain? Well, that's mostly because of the blue. But and the fish are adorable. Put these in the lamp. Again, these queen colors are just amazing. I don't have any other queen polish because these, if you can, I'm gonna lay them down, you can see they're all shimmer, gorgeous shimmers. But I wish I had these same colors that are not in the shimmer or a variation of them, but I didn't see any. 
All right, so there we go. It's from the Animal 001 collection. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you did, hit the like button, comment, share, and subscribe for future notifications. Until next time, bye.